Hi Leo, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your current energy spread. Um, I mean reading. I'm going to do a spread for you, which is going to talk about your current energy, what's currently going on with you, surrounding you, what's energizing you, what could be taking from you, the people who are coming towards you, um, what's coming towards you just generally. This is a general message, by the way. If you do vibe with the messages that I do have on my channel and you ever do want a personal reading that's going to be more curated for you, then you can definitely check out the first link in my description box down below. I do provide... Um, tarot readings, personal tarot readings on my website, www.dreamtarot.store. I also have a spiritual store on there as well if you want to get some spiritual products. I have some links in the description box. Skip the, 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 the. I have some links in the description box as well that um, maybe you could find something that you like, okay? All right, so we're going to jump right into your reading. I have coffee here because it's been a day. It's been a long day of me driving like 40 minutes out of my city to go get raw vegan food i'm not a vegan but um i do like i do like the food sometimes sometimes i like plant-based or raw vegan okay so i got some really good wraps today i also tried something called carrot tuna and that was busting i'm not gonna lie and i'm not even a tuna kind of girl i'm not someone who'll go to a store and buy a tuna sandwich that's not me. If I'm going to make tuna, I'll make it at home myself. Because it's just one of those weird foods. Kind of like coleslaw. Kind of like potato salad. I don't order them from anyone. I don't know why, but there's something about those specific foods. I'm just not going to order from anyone. It might be the mayo. Like if they... <laughs> it might be the mayo. I don't know what it is. But um, I ordered it from the raw the raw vegan place just to try it because I was like I never heard of that and I went to try it it's so good I'm like oh my god I might even make this at home but anyway let me get started with your reading mm. Ooh, that coffee is like giving me life because I had no life during Saggy's reading I'm not gonna lie all right so let's see Leo let's see let's see hopefully you're doing okay all right let's see what's the current energy of my Leos who are currently watching right now What's going on with them? What's surrounding them? Anything significant that we need to talk about in this reading? Please let it come out. All right, let's see what's going on with you. I don't know why I'm getting this. Oh, I'm getting that song. I forget who it's by. I think it's Jay Holiday. Because I can't sleep when you're with me. I can't sleep when you're something me. Something, something, something said to me. Something hard is making me. I'm going out of my mind. <laughs> what is the... I can't... I don't even remember the lyrics. I can't sleep when, when you're night. I don't know. Anyway. That song by Jay Holiday. What is it called? Y'all know that song. Some of y'all know what song that is. But that could be... Someone can't sleep when they're not with you. So someone could be having sleepless nights without you. You also could too if you're in separation from someone, whether you guys separate, separated already or you guys sleep in different homes. Someone could have a hard time sleeping without you. Yeah, Five of Pentacles came out. Sorry, Four of Pentacles, the Fool card, Five of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. What else? There's like a distance. If you are in a relationship with someone, it could feel physically dis distant for some reason because the Hermit... What is this? Okay, let's see what else. Three of Wands. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the Hangman. A lot of my Leos, I see a lot of Solitude, Four of Pentacles, Fool card, Five of Pentacles, Hermit. Some some of the energy seems very inspiring, like the Fool. So in your Solitude, you could feel like I I'm getting more motivated. I'm getting more um I'm getting more clear on my goals. Okay, Three of Wands. I'm getting more clear on my goals. Um, and it feels good, but there is a there is also this energy of feeling left out in the cold by someone that you could be in a relationship with, you could be married to, or that you are dating, okay, or someone that's just romantic. That's your boo, right? But it's like hermit. We haven't seen each other in a while, or it feels so distant, or it feels so alone. This could be within your friend groups or your family. You could have family that you speak to every day, but it doesn't feel like anyone's your person. You know how it is sometimes. Like it's 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 very. Sometimes I see comments, right? Um, hold on.
Sometimes I get comments because I do talk about my mom quite often, especially in the Leo readings because you know she's a Leo and she really is the reason why I have deep love for Leos, right? And um, some of the videos on my second channel, Dream Free, people will see me with my mother and I'll, I've had people comment where they're like, I miss my mom, you know, because maybe their mom had passed on and went to... Um, spirit the spirit spirit world right or someone will say you know i wished i had this relationship with my mom or my dad or my siblings so you could have a big family or you could have a small family it doesn't matter but you could be missing some part of feeling like someone's your person like who can i confide to who can i run to you could also be like maybe the oldest in your family or the most mature in your family. You don't have to be the oldest. And it's like, when I'm struggling, when I'm having issues, who can I run to? No one, because everybody comes to me, Leo. And you're the leader, so that's gonna happen a lot of times in your life, but it doesn't make it doesn't make you feel any, It you know, it's kind of like, um. it doesn't make you feel like better. At least like, okay, I'm the leader, so that means that I'm prone to this. Yeah, you're prone to it and it's not fair. And there's an energy of feeling like, okay, this is not fair or, when 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 do I feel like I feel complete with somebody? You could be in a relationship and feel so alone. You could have a best friend and you feel like this person doesn't even give me best friend energy. Like I don't even think we really get to get I don't even think we really um get each other like that. This could also be signal signal signaling. This could also be signaling that you could be growing um, apart from people because you are growing as an individual and certain people are staying stagnant. So say you are in a relationship and you're starting to outgrow the relationship that could be happening. Um, this could be friendship, family. This could be even be your job. There's some energy of feeling left out in the cold. I think Virgo, did Virgo have this? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, Excuse me, that could be what's happening with you right now. And it could feel quite, you could be having a little bit of paranoia too with the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles gives me like miser energy. It's like mine, mine, mine. And people hold on to what they feel like they could lose, right? And this could be how you feel around your man, your woman, maybe your friends, maybe your job, maybe what you work so hard for, your money, your your home, you know. There are certain things that you're having a hard time um, letting go of because there's a paranoia that, oh, I might lose this or this doesn't feel secure. I don't feel deep within this is my situation. This is for me energy, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to clarify it. It feels like alone. You're feeling really alone right now. Even if you don't feel alone, I feel like you have to do so much by yourself, Leo. And it's like, when am I going to meet that person or my friends or have that family member that I can depend on equally? Like, it's not like you just want to lay all your burdens on someone. You just want someone that when you call, they're there for you as you are there for them because that's the type of person you are. It's kind of like, damn, I just wish I had a shoulder to cry on sometimes. Or I wish I had someone I could speak to that could give me advice instead of me being the advice hog, right? Stuff like that. I feel like that's something that you're missing. What's the Four of Pentacles? Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please. Yeah, Eight of Cups. There's something that seems like I don't know, that's drifting from you. This could be someone with you. They could see you drifting away with the Eight of Cups, walking away. They, they're they like, mine, 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 my Leo. You can't come. They could be a little possessive, a little controlling towards you, or this is you, okay? Um, clarify the Eight of Cups. What's walking away or what's leaving? Um, justice. So some of you guys, this could be um, in your marriage. This could also talk about karma. Certain karma that spirit may be trying to um, deliver to you, positive karma that certain friends, family members, people cannot be around for. This is literally the way of life. It's like, you know, we'll go into our spiritual journey and we think that just shedding our own inner demons will be enough for us to rise and be in high vibrations. But it's also your surroundings as well. So this could be you have to leave 
certain things around um behind and that way you'll feel more abundant where you but there's something about um there's something okay leaving behind certain situations will make you more abundant leo this is not stuff that you just learned from this video you know that but um there's also this energy too where I don't know. I feel like some of you guys, too, some people won't let you leave. Like, there's someone here that's not going to... They act like they don't want to let you leave, or they could be very needy or clingy towards you. So it could be hard for you to even focus on what you need to do. What's the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, the Two of Wands. Like, someone's asking you to wait or reconsider with the Two of Wands. So you are reconsidering, but you want more. I feel like you want so much more. So you could be staying for someone. This could be a family member. Say that you take care of a family member or say that you take care of your siblings or maybe you have a friend that you know that maybe if you want to get your own apartment or own, or own home, they wouldn't be able to take care of themselves or have a home by themselves, but you would. So it's like, ugh. I want to leave this behind, but I will feel bad if I leave someone in a bad predicament, that kind of energy. And I think that's what the five of pentacles is. I want to venture out, but also I feel bad about putting people in bad situations because they can't depend on me anymore, but I don't have anyone to depend on. So this is not a win-win situation. This is like a lose-lose either way it goes. It's like a two of swords moment. All right. So what's the fool? Okay. She got in. I thought I locked uh, my mom out. <laughs> All right, what's the full card, please? What's the full? All right, what's the full, please? What's the full? The tower, all right? So this almost like you are called to do something on your own. You are called to take that journey because there is a new beginning for you. Some of you guys could be moving, literally like moving from your old town to a new town. This could be like getting your own home, apartment. This could be like starting a new job or just a new phase in your life that's meant to do it alone. And with the tower, it's literally like, if this already hasn't happened, it's like things will come crumbling down before you which will force you out excuse me and you know this leo you already know you see something as a dead end situation you see something as a dead end situation it could be literally devil energy i have a i literally have a deck where the devil card is like a drunk driver and it's like it you know being in the car is a dead end you know and it shows that the person is driving in a dead end but they're like looking elsewhere that they're so distracted by things around their life that they don't even see that they're going towards a dead end. And it's like, I want to save this person too, but being in the car with them is going to kill us both. That kind of energy. I know that's kind of dark, but I literally have a tarot deck and that's what I'm thinking of right now. I don't know why. Let's see what else. Hermit. A need to do something alone. A need to do something and cut out everything and everybody. This could even be turning off your social media. You know, this could even mean that you did turn off your social media. You could have came back on social media and and someone literally could have like DM'd you, reached out to you and was like, I thought you blocked me. I was talking so much shit about you. And it's like, damn, like, why didn't you just reach out to me and ask me, did I block you? You know, why do you just assume? I, I was off of social media for a mental break, right? But it kind of shows you the true colors of people. And it may not be that exact situation, but it's something like that, where it's like, you may turn off some kind of communication, but, in, but someone could also be really upset or angry or envious that you do that and tarnish your name. And then you know, like it's a, it's like okay, this person doesn't need to be in my life anyway. They they don't really get me. You know what I'm saying? They don't get me. All right. So what's the five of pentacles? Because a real friend or someone who really loved you would try to reach out to you another way, come see about you, and say, hey, is everything okay? I'm worried about you because I text you and I didn't hear from you. And it's like, oh no, I'm good. I'm just trying to take a little break from everything and everybody. And it's like, okay, but a friend or a family member or a lover or whoever that goes around town and tarnishes your name just because they reached out to you twice and you didn't answer. I mean, you know, you got to give someone a benefit of doubt, you know, it's like check on your strong friends kind of energy. Now the five of pentacles is the empress. Okay. So some of you guys are literally pushing out, um, or some of you guys are thinking about how a mother figure could have left you out in the cold. What is it? What is that? Why is that coming up? That memory? The six of wands. And you're up right now or you're doing very well. You could be more successful than this mother with the empress. And that is, um, I don't know what that's about. You could have some, some 
I don't know, Empress is mother energy, five of pentacles. So this could bring you back to childhood. You could have trauma from this um, where you were left out in the cold. It could also be like um, a parent or a parent choosing their um, spouse over you. That could be very hurtful. But you're up now with the six of wands. You're literally like so successful. You're literally your 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 parents, your mothers or your whoever this, per this caregiver is to you. You're literally their success. They could even like bite off your success, meaning that you give them money or they boast about you like yeah leo is my daughter or leo is my son you know but it was like they weren't there for you when you really needed it so like tables are turning and i don't know now you're choosing yourself so there could be like this this mother could be asking you for something right now and you're thinking about when they didn't help you you're starting to feel like hmm i don't know Clarify the Empress. Let me give you another scenario. Let me give you another scenario. Clarify the Empress. Nine of Cups, okay. Also, too, um, some of you guys want to be, you will be having to leave some people out in the cold to focus on yourself, to show self-love or self-care on a 100 scale. And the Nine of Cups is going to bring you a lot of wish, wish fulfillment, but people will see you as... People will see you as selfish, okay? People will be envious with the Six of Wands, okay? They'll see you as boastful or, you know, I don't know. There is like an envious energy here. How are people viewing Leo at this time? These people who feel left out in the cold? Two of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. They know that you're hard at work, okay? So they see your work ethic, that you're either working on yourself and you're taking that as your top priority or work literally is your top priority, making money, saving your money. Um, but they feel like you don't make any time for them anymore with the Two of Pentacles. This could be a romantic partner as well. Huh. Also, there could be a Leo who's in a relationship, a long-term relationship, marriage, and your spouse is not showing you enough attention. But you have a lot of wish fulfillment coming in that maybe you want to share with your spouse. But it seems like they're a workaholic and they can never squeeze you into their time. So that could be frustrating. You're starting to feel alone or by yourself. So Hermit is here. I feel alone. Okay, what's the Hermit? Clarify Hermit energy. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Spirit's telling you be patient. You won't be alone for long. Okay, will of fortune, you have life changing for you. So there will be a time where you won't have any alone time. So kind of bask in this energy, do things that you normally wouldn't be able to do in front of so many people in front of your ex and you know, things that really speak to your soul that you can do alone that's going to fulfill you. Um, What else is here? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you also have new love coming in for those of you who do want new love or a new beginning with your partner in love, but it takes you pulling back your energy maybe. If you are giving so much of yourself that you feel like you're not getting a return, I feel like this hermit energy is going to do you good where you kind of like putting myself first, being a little selfish. I'm kind of like not present right now. I'm just kind of figuring out what I want, getting back to myself. I feel like making someone wait with the seven of pentacles is kind of like you will see a change from this person new love is here with this person but if you're single i do see new love coming towards you in your hermit energy so you may feel lonely but not for long i want to drink this coffee before it gets cold all right clarify this ace of cups i'm curious also, if you don't have friends or you gave up a lot of your friends, you will have a good friend coming in that really has a lot of love for you. So it has potential to go really far. This person will feel like family, okay? Let's Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. Five of Swords. A lot of you right now, it seems like you're going through some tough times with your partner or your spouse okay for those of you who are connected seems like um things are getting very stressful it seems like you're managing things on your own with the ten of wands and the five of swords it could be causing some really deep tough arguments between you and this person but i do see change coming but there is something about you holding back your energy or if you're the type of leo masculine or feminine to always handle take care of things when you are in a partnership um you may just want to tell this person no or just not take care of certain things like I don't know how to explain that this is kind of like um 
say you're helping someone out with like payments or something and it's like you're tired of that because it's like you need to get on the ball like I work really hard I need you to work really hard you're just kind of getting used to me being the overstepper here and I don't want to be that anymore it's kind of like don't do it anymore like hold back let this person figure it out or start saying no Hermit is literally like no so start saying no to this person don't allow them to you know um guilt you into helping them okay um, you also, too, have new love here or new friendship here with someone who has been through similar situations like you. They've been through some trauma um, with their parents. They've been through some trauma with their exes. They have also are someone who's, like, always keeping things um, secure in their life and in others. So they could actually, like, really... Like, this is someone who's going to get you. You know, I said that you were looking for someone who gets you, gets what you're going through, someone you could actually take advice from. You can only take advice from people who's been there, done that, right? You can't take advice from people who never stepped in your shoes. You kind of have that energy coming towards you, Leo, very soon. So I don't think this person's currently in this energy. I feel like they've been there, done that, and they can relate to you in so many ways. They can offer you advice. They can offer you a shoulder to cry on, to lean on, to kiss up on, whatever you're into, Okay. Three of Wands is coming faster than you think. I feel like you'll be the one to find this person by navigation, right? Three of Wands. It's like I'm t making plans, right? I'm taking action. I'm doing hermit. I'm going within. I'm purging all of the things that I feel, my trauma that I dealt with. I'm forgiving people. I'm letting it go. And then, boom, you and this person kind of meet each other. What's the Three of Wands? Or you and this your your person that you're currently with, you guys are able to see things on a similar page finally. What's the three of wands? Judgment, exactly. So if you are beefing with your husband, your boyfriend right now, your girlfriend, your wife, um, I feel like you and this person will get things right where there will be a second chance, okay? Clarify the judgment. This is also your actions too. So I want to encourage you, if you are feeling this way, please do not allow yourself to slump or feel down. Um, even though you're in hermit mode, make sure that you're getting out, make sure you're going into nature, make sure you're eating right, you know, make sure that you're journaling, make sure that you're still doing things that make you feel happy, watching your favorite shows, um, you know, getting your hair done or haircut, um, you know, doing self-care routines at home, um, getting out, you know, don't not staying in the house so much because being in the house can kind of like suppress you and make you feel um down and you kind of want the goal is to get out of that energy right and kind of just heal what else is here yeah eight of swords because i do see some of you guys are having a hard time pulling yourself out of that energy but um judgment talks about action so your actions are exactly what the outcome is going to be so make sure that even if you don't feel your best you just kind of push yourself to um elevate and elevate your vibration each and every day as much as you can take baby steps only the smallest thing you know smallest thing every day to kind of make yourself feel good also pay attention to your surroundings um mindfulness is within clutter if your work space is very cluttered at work or if you work from home make sure that's neat so that you feel motivated you feel inspired um, you know, make your bed in the morning. That's something that's so small that maybe can make you really happy when you lay yourself down at night. Um, this could even be like romanticizing your area. So buying yourself candles or maybe LED lights from Amazon if you're if you're not into candles. Doing little things that make you feel inspired in your space. One more card for the three of wands. All right, Nine of Swords. I do see you too. You're so nervous about where, where you're headed. What's the direction to go? You wish you had... I really feel like you wish you had someone you could lean on at this time or ask for the answers. I feel like if you do believe in God, you ask God for the answers. Tell him to show you the way, okay? Um, if you don't believe in God, that's okay. We, you know, we're still family out here. And I feel like asking the universe for what you want, journaling it down and saying, hey, universe, please show me the way. I'm lost at this time. Give me the signs that will make it clear for me um, my next steps, you know? And of course, whatever else makes you feel good about 
um, whatever else makes you feel good about maybe getting direction, maybe watching your favorite um, podcaster or anyone that you feel like is a good role model in the society that you like to watch, maybe watching them and that you can find signs in those videos or maybe reading a book from an author that you really trust. You can find signs in that book. Maybe you're into tarot. So maybe pulling your own cards in, um, looking up the meanings, even if you don't know tarot that all that well, maybe it takes you to really find the next steps that you need, right? Hmm. I also feel like for those of you who are single Leos, when you do meet this new person, I don't feel like you'll be ready to jump into um, romance with this person right away. I do feel like you'll be second guessing yourself a little bit. May not may not be the most confident. I do feel like you will gain that confidence back and it's going to be crazy, your comeback. But when you first meet this person, I don't feel like you'll be ready to just jump into anything romantic. But I would encourage you to still put yourself out there just even to get someone's phone number or social media so that you can keep in touch so that when you are feeling good, you don't miss out on a good opportunity. Because I do feel like this person is going to be aligning with you for a reason, okay? So let's see who or what is coming towards you. Let's get a spread for that. Keep your head up, Leo. I promise things are going to get better. I promise. Everything's not going to stay this way. You will gain the clarity that you need if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like, I don't know what's next, you know. I'm telling you, it won't feel this way forever. I promise you that, okay? Just one day at a time. And then also, too, when we're feeling like this, it also talks about just changing up your routine, okay? I'm used to doing things this way. It's not working anymore. So now let me change my routine up. Let me try something new. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, guys, I have like lots of activities and I wouldn't take up your time in this reading to tell you about all these activities, but I have lots of mental health activities that would be positive for you. So if you want to know, if you feel like you're in a rut, you could just email me. My email is in the description box down below and just say, hey, Dream, I would love some good activities to lift my vibration. I will send you that list, okay? Okay. You know, literally send me, it's like send me, you can ask me that and then tell me like a little bit of what you're already into. What are you already into? And I'll give you some um, activities that have helped me a lot in the past, okay? All right, so let's see. Who or what has, who or what is coming to, into, um, who, is, who or what is coming towards my Leos, okay? Who or what is coming towards my Leos at this time in this current energy? Who or what is coming towards my Leos? Let me write down your title. All right. Who or what is coming towards my Leos in this current energy? Give me some cards, please. All right, three of wands. Remember I said someone's coming very soon. That was the card that ended your spread, your first spread. So someone's coming very soon and it really, I feel like from you kind of like switching up your routine, um, going to places that you've never been to before, going to places that you never even like um, tried, places that you don't think you would actually be into, trying new spots, you might meet someone, honestly. But with the three of wands, um, you're definitely going to be finding your way to this person through a lot of the new practices you'll be instilling to like the hermit. Some of you guys are not used to being the hermit and just taking time for yourself for however long as you need. Through that, you may also be bringing this person closer to you because you're um, working on that healing, right? Let's see what else comes out. Who or what is coming towards my Leos? I see some of you guys too, like um, house shopping, apartment shopping, or like looking at home decor online, which is like one of my favorite things to do. All right, we have Emperor here. Could be an Aries, could be a business owner coming towards you, okay? Could be someone who's a manager or a boss or like maybe like a leader for whatever they do for work. They definitely lead the pack or they are to hire up, okay? Let's see what else. Yeah, the Four of Cups. I don't feel like this is someone that you would be able to entertain at first, even if this is just a friend. It doesn't seem like you'd be really ready to entertain them. You would feel like you have so much going on in your life. I feel like this person also 
could have a lot of things going on in their life that you guys may not speak about at first when you guys first meet each other or are dealing with each other. Um, but that's something to be talked about at a later date and it will surprise you. Wow, you were going through all that when I first met you. Wow, that's shocking. Okay, five of pentacles. Some of you guys, this is the person that you had to leave out in the cold or left you out in the cold, right? That person could be coming towards you. Some of you guys, this could be that father figure or mother figure that maybe wasn't present in your life or did push you away when you were in a, at a certain age. We also have here the page of wands. There is um, a new beginning. This could be someone new, like a new fire sign with that page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, doesn't, have, doesn't matter the signs, but there is a new exciting beginning with whoever this person is, okay? Yeah, some of you guys, this is a fire sign. Have the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. All right, so this could be someone who Aries Leo Sag, like I said, could be a feminine energy as well. So for some of you feminines who are not into the same sex, this could definitely be a friend as well. All right, let's clarify these cards. Oh, sorry, I'm taking this to the extended. I'm getting besides myself. So we're gonna take this to the extended. I'm gonna talk about who's coming towards you, how you would know who this person is. We're gonna clarify each and every one of these cards. We're gonna talk about what their current feelings will be for you. We'll talk about their next actions and the outcome if you're interested. I'm also gonna get this person's emojis and their last words. I'm gonna get your emojis and your last words right now. I'm gonna show you three of your last words, show you the rest in the extended as well. If you wanna get the extended, there's gonna be three links in the description box down below. First link is if you just want to get it individually, then the first link is for you. Second link is for Patreon. You're going to get um, through the Leo tier. You'll get all of the extendeds I do for Leo on my channel. And it's a monthly subscription, but it's a really good price. I made sure that it was a good price because I know how hard things have been this year. Um, and you can do the math to see how much of a save you're getting. Also, the third option is joining my channel. By joining my channel under the Dream Team tier, under that tier... Um, you will get all the extendeds that I put out on my channel for all signs. So this is good for those of you who have multiple placements that want to watch those certain videos. This is good for those of you who like to watch for other people. Or if you just like watching all the extendeds to get extra juice about your life, then there's that. And that's a really good price monthly as well. You can do the math yourself, okay? All right, so yeah, let's start with your emojis. Give me some emojis, please, for my Leos who are currently watching and dealing with the situation. All right, we have a taxi or Uber, so something about that. Someone, okay. Um, we also have a lots of um, ramen. Someone's eating lots of ramen or lots of pasta, but I'm getting ramen. Or, like, maybe you like, you're going to go to a ramen restaurant. Maybe you never tried a ramen restaurant. So go there and check it out. That'd be a nice date to take yourself. I also see some of you getting into photography or art. I definitely have a lot of really helpful um healing activities including photography or art so definitely email me we also have bowling here some of you guys could be going bowling soon so that sounds fun all right so let me show you really fun like i need to i need to find well i have my mom right but i need to find some leos to go hang out with you guys have some fun things coming up for you so there goes that look spirit gave you some ideas right there how nice is that right all right, so Spirit's always looking out for you guys. That's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get your last words, and we'll take it to the extended. All right, Spirit, give me some cards, please, for my Leos. Give me some cards, please, for my Leos dealing with the situation, please. All right, give me some cards. Let's see what comes out for you, Leo. Ooh, pentacle daddy, pentacle mommy. So you could be look, you could feel like the sugar daddy, sugar mom of your friendships, your freaking relationship, maybe even your family. It's like people are always trying to take money from you or ask you for money or take your money at, for advantage, right? And it's like, no, no longer. But you also could be coming, um, coming towards someone who is very stable. Um, Capricorn towards Virgo with that King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This could also be sugar mom, sugar dad relationship, seriously. And, you know, that's your business. Okay? That is your business. Okay, let's see. 
excuse me, I'm drinking like this big ass cup of coffee. Like look how big this cup is. So excuse me a couple times for belching. All right, so let me see which ones I should show you. Let's see. Okay, oh, I think I'm gonna do this one because this one is good. Um, we'll do this one. We'll do this one. Okay, this one is cool because guess what? We talked about this when we first started the reading. I can't sleep when you're touching me. I don't know what I don't know the lyrics to that song, but y'all know that song. Is it by Jay Holiday? I'm gonna play it in the extended. If y'all never heard that story, I mean that song, and you what and you're going to get the extended, then you'll hear it there, okay? But I think it's by Jay Holiday, and I think it's called just look up Jay Holiday Can't Sleep, okay? All right, um, we have I'm Not Over You. We have Toxic Family, which I felt strongly, okay? And we also have Balanced Relationship. You do have a balanced relationship coming. You have balanced friendships coming to your life. You have balanced love coming to your life. You have balanced relationships with your family coming into your life. It's all possible. So don't think that Spirit forgot about you. Don't think it's not coming towards you. That life just doesn't work in your favor. You're really going to see how things turn around. But you have to keep a positive mindset. All right? Healthy mind. All right, guys. So I'm going to end it there. Um, make sure that you guys like the video. Um, comment down below. If you already have a really healthy... Um, Comment your story, first of all, or if you don't want to talk about your story, if you already have a healthy um, activity that you think may help other Leos, comment it down below because it could really help the rest of your tribe out and you guys have to look out for your pack, right? And I would love to see those as well. So definitely comment down below. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on your next Leo video and I'll see some of you guys in extended. If I don't see you there, no problem. I will definitely see you on your next Leo video. All right, Leos, I love you guys. I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye.